guys welcome back to my channel today's video is another prank okay so my boyfriend he is out right now doing whatever he is doing and i bought some ketchup last night so at first i was thinking about doing like a bloody nose type of thing but i really wanted to do something to where it's like um like you know how when you get shot and you lay down blood everywhere yeah i kind of wanted to do something like that I have a pot right here and I have my ketchup right here because I actually am going to heat up my ketchup and I really wasn't sure like if I wanted to do like the bloody nose challenge or what but I kind of want to make it look like I hit my, my head because you know I got a six head so I don't know maybe I hit my six head against the door or something and I passed out and it's hella blood on the floor basically something like that so I want to heat up the ketchup so that when I put it all over the floor It'll be like a little bit more looser instead of hella thick. I don't know. I just feel like ketchup is just super thick. I don't know. Also, my boyfriend he don't he doesn't really like ketchup like that. He don't eat it. So, I have to go out and buy a whole bottle of ketchup. <laughs> like, really, though. I don't have no ketchup in my house, in my freezer or next. Okay. So, like I said, I feel like ketchup is kind of thick, as you can see. So, I'm going to put a little bit of water in here just to loosen it up. Okay, now I'm just gonna stir, stir, stir. Now I don't want it too, too hot. So I am, once this starts to melt down a little bit, I am going to turn down the fire. I just really want this to be as thin as possible. Not as thin as possible, but I want it to be a little bit thinner than what it was and don't make a mess like me. So yeah, so now let me see when I lift it with the spoon. Yeah, that's good. Okay. The last thing I'm going to incorporate with my little ketchup and water is some soy sauce. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's black. And when I looked online, like, how to make fake blood, it kept saying, like, you need, like, cocoa powder. Because, you know, when when blood is, when the, when the air touches blood, it gets darker, right? So, oh, I think I feel a little too much. But yeah, I kept looking it up on Google and stuff like that, and they're like, "Oh, you need cocoa powder to make the blood look the color of the natural of natural blood and whatnot." So I'm like, "Okay, I don't have any cocoa powder, and I don't even like chocolate like that. The only time I eat chocolate is probably like when I'm on my menstrual." Okay, so I already turned off the fire. See, there's no more fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thicken up just a little bit. Like, I'm going to let it cool down because I can't put none of this on my face with it this hot. So I'm going to let this cool down and then I'm going to start putting it all over the floor of my face and whatnot. So be back. Y'all, he is here. Y'all, he is here. Yeah, get up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh 